Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you a few tricks about regions in Exibo. Um, right here I have a demo template that I've created from scratch. Um, as you can see, the default is that you just get one region. Um, the way that I like to explain regions to, to people is that we can break our, our layout into different regions and each region should be for let's say a piece of content so one region can be showing a web page another region can be showing images uh, another one could be uh, a ticker so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go first into the background and i'm going to select a background image that actually already breaks up our layout into a few regions so this has two regions. We're going to do that. Press save. Okay. And now you'll see that our, our background has changed and this will make sizing our regions just a little bit easier. Um, you'll notice that our regions can be resized if I select the corner of this region and resize that. I can make it to whatever size I want and then I can move it to wherever I want. So I'm going to put this on the black side and then I'm going to pretty much make this one region. Now I always recommend that after you create a region you press save region positions in the top right here. If not, if you add another region then basically it's going to go back to how it was before. We're going to create a second region. We're going to put it on this paste colored uh, region here. All right, so I'm going to move that over here and then make this the size of that region. And then I'm going to save region positions again. Now, basically, each region has a timeline and we can add our media um, as we feel fit. So what I'm going to do in this region with the black area, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit the timeline. And uh, I'm going to put just an image, right? I'm going to pull something from our library here. Let's see what we got. Let's do a uh, skyline picture here. Let's just save. And of course, we can add multiple things to this uh, regional timeline here. But just for now, we're just going to add one image and we're going to save it. And you'll see that there's one image there. <clears throat> And for this region, uh, we'll go ahead and edit the timeline again. And I think maybe this time we'll just add a clock, an analog clock, uh, maybe with a dark theme. Click save. Save again. And now we have a clock. So Basically, what I've shown you is how you can create multiple regions, right? How you can resize them. Um, if you don't want to manually resize them, you can also click on the drop down and you can go to options. And you can see that you can give how many pixels you want an offset. So, how many pixels you want from the top, the left, the left, um, how wide do you want it to be and how high do you want it to be. So if you didn't want to do this by eye, you could put in the pixel numbers and then just save and it would update accordingly. Um, and also in that same options box, you could even name your regions um, in case anyone else is coming in after you, they can understand um, 
what that region is supposed to be for. Um, that's what I usually do when I name my regions. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn more about Exevo, uh, check out mysignage.rocks.